Hello movie lovers and welcome to RealTomArts.com. Today we are going to be talking about that giant lizard movie Godzilla. The lizard that came out of the sea and started terrorizing our cities. It used to be Japan and then they came over to the US and I think trampled New York one time and California now. He's really quite a menace it seems, but Godzilla still draws the audience despite the fact that there have been seven reboots or more than seven reboots or variations of Godzilla throughout the years and very few of them succeed. So there is reason to be wary before going into the theater. Not just because Godzilla has a pretty bad track record as far as being a good movie, but also because the movie is being released in May. And this is not when the studios have the most confidence in their films. They release them now to avoid going up against the real big blockbusters that come out in the summer. Also, it is written or co-written by a man uh, who wrote The Expendables and Expendables 2 as well as Doom. These are mediocre scripts at best, so that also makes me rather wary. Now, the reason you might want to be happy and excited to see Godzilla aside from the special effects and the promises of even more destruction, is that it's directed by a man named Gareth Edwards. And Gareth Edwards did a really nice small movie called Monsters. I think it was back in 2010. It was a bit of a minimalistic film, but it worked and had a great twist to it and had great characters. So perhaps in the hands of Gareth Edwards, Godzilla has a chance. Well, now, after seeing the movie, I can say, at least for myself, that Godzilla works on a lot of levels, and then again, it doesn't work on so many other levels. First of all, the human contact in this movie and all the actors, well, they can be really pretty much disposed of, and some of them are. The special effects in this movie are quite good, and when Godzilla and the monsters are on screen, the movie can be exhilarating and exciting, and a lot of things happen in this movie that can make you pretty happy, if, particularly if you are a Godzilla fan. But much of the other film is just made up of backstory and romance and trying to give a human element to this very non-human story. <laughs> Sometimes I wish they would just stick to the monster and leave it at that, but of course then the monster would have no one to terrorize. So in some ways this Godzilla is the best Godzilla in a long time. It certainly has outdone the other Godzillas of recent years, but it's still not quite up to par. Maybe Godzilla should have been left back in the 50s and left in the hands of the Japanese filmmakers where he seemed to really excel and be comfortable. Bring Godzilla into the States and the poor guy is just like a lizard out of water.